Tales of the Infinite, Kingdom of the Dead, Stories of Ancient Seers. Dona Lucretia and the Realm of the Dead, extract from The Secret of the Plumed Serpent by Armando Torres. One night, Dona Lucretia came to visit us. She was one of the healers from the group that lived in the other village. One of the peculiarities they mentioned about her was that she used to attend every wake in her town, and sometimes even went to the funerals in neighboring cities. When we asked her why she did it, she explained to us that since she was a child, she had the ability to talk to the dead, and she preferred to converse with them while they were still fresh. One of the assistants asked her why she concerned herself with the dead. And why not? She responded with a threatening tone in her voice, Are the living more important? The disembodied have great possibilities to prolong consciousness in the other world, just like us, unfortunately, their memories hinder them, just as the befuddlement of the daily world hinders us. When told about their possibilities, they pay no attention, they get tangled in their memories and thus slowly consume themselves, until there is nothing left. I have helped hundreds find the way to the light, most, when they get there, are more lost than a headless chicken, nothing makes sense to them. Some barely arrive and don't even know who they were or where they came from, others go straight to seek their fantasies. Which fantasies are you referring to? They asked her. She replied. When people die, it is sometimes very difficult for them to let go of the world of the living, they always cling to things. They are all full of ideas and fantasies of how the other side should be, that's why, when they arrive there, that's exactly what they find. For those who die, what they see is what they expected to find there, however, the seers who visit that place see them as if they were paralyzed, staring into nothingness. She said that in that place there are multitudes of consciousness that remain still like zombies. The seers claim that they are reliving their memories, recounting their experiences for the last time. They argue that this is what it looks like when they are in the process of being consumed by the eagle. That same night, she told us about one of her terrible encounters with the dead, she explained that many returned to interfere as they could in the daily world. She told us the story of a young man who died in a motorcycle accident and who had passionately loved a girl. When I went to the burial, I saw the young man wandering among the attendees he still wore his black leather jacket. Nobody could see him, but I could tell that when he approached someone, that person became uncomfortable and then moved away. I watched him for a long time. When the young man noticed that I could see him, he came to talk to me. For a moment, I pretended not to hear him, then I went outside, to a more private place, and asked him what he wanted. He asked me to contact his girlfriend and tell her how much he loved her. I got angry with him, I told him that not even death made him any wiser. We talked for a long time and became friends. I then began to explain to him about the sorcerers and how they use knowledge to continue existing at that other level of consciousness. I had him with me for several years, I taught him everything he needed to increase his chances of survival on his journey through that cruel world, on the other side. 